What is up, Texas Longhorns fans? It's your good friend, Indy Tim here with the Longhorns Daily Blitz. For today, it is UTSA Roadrunners Post Game Edition. And, uh, you know, I often struggle trying to find a creative way to come into some of these um, after the blowouts. And after today's blowout, the 50... Six to seven win. I I can't. There's nothing creative to say, right? It was just a rout. It was a blowout, a shellacking of epic proportions. We had a few of those in the college football world today. Um, And while the Longhorns did experience a few speed bumps along the way, they easily took care of the Longhorns, easily took care of the Roadrunners um, just without... I won't say without, well, I will too. I'm going to say they took care of the Roadrunners without any troubles whatsoever. They got in their own way a couple of times, but that was really how it went as we struggled to get into this episode to make it sound interesting. Um, because even without their starting quarterback under center, the the Longhorns look like they are a force to be reckoned with in this first season in the SEC and eventually in the college football playoff that has now been expanded to 12 teams if you've been living under a rock for the last couple of seasons. And you didn't know that. Um, But, of course, Texas entered the Saturday matchup with UTSA, hoping to take care of some business and not look ahead to the Louisiana-Monroe matchup next week, but to, you know, put on a good showing, as they do against, as these big teams do, hoping to, uh, you know, take care of what they need to take care of and show the college football world that they can do what they're supposed to do, what they're expected to do. Uh, Talking to you, Notre Dame, who lost to Northern Illinois last week. So (laughs) that's uh, just still boggles my mind how that happened. And then doing what Notre Dame did today is just insane. Um, But they suffered a pretty major setback, the Longhorns did, with the injury to Quinn Ewers. It's an abdominal strain. Um, and his future for next week, uh, is, has yet to be determined. Um, but that's why they got arch, right? That's why you have a backup quarterback, uh, with the, the, the talent that arch Manning does, uh, as he just walked in and made the game his own and, and took over, uh, there on the field. Uh, scoring started early and often for the Longhorns with Ewers leading the horns on two scoring drives taking a 14 to nothing lead in the first quarter early in the second Ewers went down with the injury. He headed to the locker room and he came out just a few minutes later in street clothes. And we knew that it, the news wasn't going to be good. He completed his day 14 to 16 for 185 yards, two touchdowns and that one interception. But that's when Arch Manning came into the game and took over. He guided the Horns on two consecutive scoring drives of his own, the first on a touchdown pass to DeAndre Moore, the second on a an epic 67-yard uh, run of his own to make the score 28-7, to and the video of that has broken the internet. <laughs> if you weren't watching the game, I guarantee you, you've seen uh, the video, the highlight of that, um, and incidentally, uh, he, and you may have seen this. I can't remember where I heard this. Might've heard it on the broadcast. Of course, he'll be compared his career in the NFL. will be compared to his, his, uh, two uncles, uh, Eli and Peyton, Eli and Peyton's longest run between the two of them in the NFL ever in their careers was like 33 yards. <laughs> so Eli and, and uh, Peyton are getting a, a ton of crap about, uh, about Arch doing this in this game today, but the Horns took that lead, the 28-7 lead, into the locker room after a couple of busted drives to end the half. In the second half, Manning continued to shine. He led the Horns on three more scoring drive, each of which was culminated by touchdown passes. The first went to Isaiah Bond on a 51-yard score. The second on a 75-yard score to Ryan Wingo. And the last to John T. Cook on a great corner route in uh, the back of the end zone uh, from 12 yards out. Manning ended the day 9 to 12 for 223 yards, four touchdowns, three carries for 53 yards, and the other score. Um, from there, Trey Owens came into the game and looked like Trey Owens. 
uh, as the defense was able to hold on the rest of the way there. As a team, the Longhorns uh, totaled 614 yards on offense, holding UTSA to just 260, as the Horns now will focus on Louisiana Monroe in Austin for week four at 7 p.m. Central Time. So all in all, a good showing. The only real concern here is the injury to Quinn Ewers. Uh, and yes, while everyone feels good about Arch Manning, while he is a completely, uh, you know, capable backup, you you don't want to see Quinn be out for any length of time because you're just then one hit away uh, <laughs> from uh, being down Manning and uh, Quinn Ewers. And nobody wants to see that. Uh, I think at that point, then you you kind of man, I don't want to say you start to worry with Trey Owens coming in uh, for an extended period of time, but you know what? That's not the case right now, so we don't even really have to focus on that or talk about it. But it that is at the forefront of your mind when you think about Quinn Ewers possibly being out for an extended period of time, which we certainly hope he is not. And we will report as soon as we hear something about his status for next week. Um, you know, if it was an important game, if it was the Aggies game coming up or, you know, against another top 10 team, would he be able to play? And are they going to maybe just sit him out because it is Louisiana Monroe? Uh, we'll, we'll update all of that as soon as we get it here later in the week. But we want to thank everybody for tuning here to Fan Stream Sports for your Longhorns Daily Blitz Post Game Edition for UTSA. We'll get more into the game here as we get into the week. Uh, recap some of the offensive prowess, some of the defense. Uh, get into some more details out here on the Longhorns Daily Blitz. Appreciate you guys tuning in to FanStream Sports, fanstreamsports.com. Make sure you download the FanStream Sports mobile app for all of our great recorded and live content 24-7 on the go. Make sure you go over to FanStream Sports TV, our YouTube channel, subscribe there. And if you're listening to the downloaded audio podcast, make sure you give us a subscribe there and maybe a rating, uh, if you don't mind, on whatever app it is that you listen to us. Or check us out, fanstreamsports.com. We'll do it again here early in the week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, boys and girls. Until then, we'll see you.